All right, great. So now we're going to move on to the next section. And what you want to do for this part is you're going to actually be going from, from this position down here, almost the, the first or second position here, and you're going to be going all the way up to the ninth fret. And now what you want to do, this is a little tricky. What you, what you have to do here is you have to bar the ninth fret. Now, barring means playing more than one string with your finger at the same time. So when you bar something, you have to, you have to hold your first finger down. And I'm going to be playing the third and fourth string at the same time um, with this finger. Now, the reason for that is because I'm going to be doing a pull-off here with my with my third or fourth finger, uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, whatever you're used to doing is fine. So what I'm doing is this. It's a little lick. I'm going to play it in context for you. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's the lick we're going to work on now. Okay, notice my, my right hand. Let's talk about that for a second. So what I'm doing with my right hand is I'm, I'm making sure to, to alternate my strumming. And what, what that does is gives you sort of a loose feel for that part. Um, right? So let's talk about this a little bit. So I'm actually, my starting position for this next section is first finger, third and fourth string, bar, barred or flat, and then my third or fourth finger, let's, let's do third, okay, so I'm going to play this very slowly, pull off, okay, that's the first little uh, figure there, it's, again, okay, Notice how I pick down on this one. It's, a, it's like a little a power chord way up on the neck. Ninth and eleventh fret. Pull off. There. And then I hit the fourth string on upstroke because I'm doing the... Oh, actually, they're both downstrokes. And I catch the upstroke on the way back on the third string. So we have... Okay, and you're going to do that twice. So the full section is this. You're going to do it again. Okay, and that's really all, all that part is. Kind of like that. It's kind of a cool little, uh, little lick. And what's, what's good about this, too, is that the next note that we hit after this little figure is going to be the, the open E string. So you don't have to worry too much about, about what you're going to next because you're hitting the open E. Like that. Okay, so after that you're going to go back to this, what we did before, the octaves, the octave section here. So we, it goes like this. Two, three, four. A little bit of vibrato. Okay. Just a little vibrato. You don't want to go crazy on the vibrato here. It's, everything's very subtle in here. Just a little bit of vibrato. Okay. Now after it does that part, what you want to do is you want to go back up here again. So I'm going to play it from the first time we play this, going in, into the octave section. So, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one, two. Okay, notice that that second figure is a little bit different. So we're going to go again to the ninth fret on the fourth string, eleventh fret on the third string. We're going to do what we did before. We're going to bar 
these two strings, the third and fourth on the ninth fret, with our first finger. Get our third finger up here on the eleventh fret. And listen to how this one differs from the first one. Two. A little, a little different than the first one. The first one was like that. This one is okay, so first one, second one. Okay, good. Now after that second one, you're going to be hitting the low E again. And it brings us to the, the main lick, the real meat. Okay, this is, this is a really great lick because there are a lot of subtle bends happening here. Um, so it, I'm going to play it for you sort of a little bit slowly so you can get it and then I'll walk you through each, each section. <laughs> That's the first part. What you want to do is you want to take your third finger. Again, I sometimes use my pinky for this. You know, mainly laziness. But um, so we're gonna we're gonna do it with our third finger. We're gonna go. You're gonna do a slight bend on that first note. Notice how I start picking down on this. Um, your right hand, it really is up to you if you want to pick down on each one of these notes um, or alternate. Um, it really, it's, it's pretty much sounds the same either way. Um, I think maybe I'll pick down for now just to make it a little bit easier. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your, your third finger here on the fourth string, fourth fret, and do a very slight bend. <laughs> Notice that's almost a quarter tone bend. Um, now for, for, uh, for tones and semitones, you can refer to our, one of our other videos for that. Um, but you can see how I'm bending it just a little bit, almost in between this note here, this G. Not quite up to the G, just sort of, right? The second one's a little bit a bit, bit more of a bend. So let's tr let's try this. Okay, that's the first thing. Okay, I'm going to do that one more time. Then I get my third finger and I put it here on the fifth string. Another slight bend. First finger on the fourth string here on the E. No bend there. And then a nice bend, one of Jimmy's favorites. Down to the low E. <laughs> Coming to rest on the low E string there. <laughs> 